Hey guys, and welcome back to Them and Us. When we last left off, we had finally opened the uh, Box of Plutus room. Or, uh, I assume that's how you say it. But we've got a few more options. We can go outside into the wider expanse of this rather odd place. So, let's do exactly that, shall we? Now, we opened up the large front gate. Let's have a little poke around inside. I'm pretty sure. So we've got our knife, we've got our bullets, and that's basically it. We've got our gun. Wait a minute. I was going to say, did we not handle this guy? Well, you know what? Oh, hello. Why did that not work? There we go. There's a few of them through there. Curious. I mean, we're saving ourselves a little bit of effort later on. I assume, if we're going to actually come through here. Spoiler. Uh, I haven't actually played any more, even though this is, you know, somewhere around... Uh, eight, nine days after uh, I finished wrapping up our original recordings. You know, after the whole eyeball episode. Evening. Welcome, one and all, to the dance of death. Me and the knife. Come on, let's be having ya. I'd rather one at a time, but we can handle multiple, that's fine. There is so many zomboids out here, it's kind of impressive. Oof, no thanks. No thanks. And why has my... Why? What's going on? <laughs> why have you stopped attacking, Alicia? Please explain this temporary madness. No, uh, seriously, why... Okay. Let's say I hope my keyboard isn't failing me. So I find that rather difficult to imagine. No? Okay, keyboard's fine. It's probably something weird going on with the game. Whatever. Anyway, come on, love. Let's be having you. A female zombie, eh? We've only seen one of those so far. Come on. I mean, she looks like quite wearing some semi-modern attire, as a lot of these guys do seem to be. I mean, I suppose modern for the 80s, anyway. Ah. Oh. Right, she's had enough. Come on, my friend. Allow yourself to become part of my body collection. For there are many. And there's always room for one more. I like Alicia's just... She, she doesn't really care. Just full-on stone face. Oh, no, she's locked on. Evening, Mr. Squelchy. Come and join the party. Although, he appears to be kind of difficult to hear, actually. Well, that's fine. We can administer a dose of gun to this fellow. Wow. Slow down there, chief. He actually knocked us into the Bad health. Ooh, shotgun shells. I mean, well, I don't mind if I do. We could really use a bandage, because our girl isn't feeling so so hot right about now. Ah, dogs. That's not fantastic, is it? I'm not going to worry too much about the zombie. There we are. All right, so can we come through here? is locked from the other side. There you go, mate. You're getting a bit of a move on now. That's right. You know, because we're injured, we're very low on health there. I'd rather not risk. We know what my luck is like. There we go. And we have an abundance of bullets right about now anyway, so it seems pertinent to use them. Now, any more doggies? I'm going to be honest, I'd love to see a medkit or two. So 
some bandages. Ah, hello, friend. Uh, I would like to take you... Oh. Oh, I hear dogs. <sighs> you know... Ah, oh, here he comes as well. I was going to say, I really don't want to be dealing with the dog right about now. Not on this much health. Uh, I probably should have checked how much health I had before we uh, did the knife tango. But that's fine. I'll catch you guys back here in a second. Okay, let's uh, try that again, shall we? Hopefully, a little bit less failure this time. Bloody dogs, honestly. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Talking of bloody dogs, I forgot about that one. Hopefully, he's not going to charge us. Stay there, pooch. There we go. Nope, nope. I suppose it's not too bad when you've got a good bit of uh, you know, space to shoot them. But the trouble is... When you can't see the little bastards. Come on, Dag, where are you? I can hear you. Last time he came from like there. Or I can hear, yeah, there, there's one. Let's see. I'm pretty sure, if my memory serves me correctly, there's actually, shit, two dogs here, I think. It's been a long little while since I've been here. Hey, Pooch. Yeah, I can hear. See, that's the thing. I can hear growling, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah, that's, that's definitely growling. It's hard to tell whether it's just background ambience sometimes. Okay, let's have a quick run around here. Doesn't appear to be anything here. But we'll have a good little explore of this place. Once we've made sure it's uh, canine free. There you are. Right, let's see if we can kill you pretty quickly. So the good thing is, when they start running, if you just shoot them once, they stop running. I like that does give you a few options. Ooh. Evening, my friend. Allow me to release you from your torment. Wakey, wakey. There you go. Feel better for my friend. Corpse note. Whoever finds this, please read carefully. There is a creature that roams this island unlike anything I've ever seen before. I don't know if it's the master's doing, for it has attacked everything and everyone, including us anointed members of his clan. As I write this, I lay bleeding, crippled by my mauled leg, nearly delirious with pain. Blade nor firepower has any effect on it. The only reason it didn't kill me outright is because of Jonathan. When the thing, when the things came upon me, I only had my knife while Jonathan had his shotgun for shooting the gulls that flew in from the bay. I watched that monster take two direct blasts from his gun before it tackled him. It chased after him. I don't know where they went, but at least he managed to draw the beast away from me. Who knows if it's still alive. I've tried finding the shotgun. I know he dropped it around here somewhere before he ran off. It's not like I'd do any it'll do any good anyway. First it seemed the buckshot did damage. I saw the thing flinch, then it changed. It was like firing at a phantom. Christ, I hope it doesn't come back. Well, okay. So, there is a stalker on the loose somewhere. Hello, friend. I kind of don't really want to waste any more handgun bullets on you, to be honest. But we do need to... Oh, God, he's... Oh, hello. All right. Okay, he's tasty. Jesus, you had your coffee this morning, didn't you? You're a sprightly little fella. All right, I will do you this one honor. 
I was, I, you know, I was quite happy to just leave you alive. But then you had to go be a big penis and chase me around. Well, that was uh, your last mistake, friend. Let's just hope he doesn't puke on me. Is that, oh God, look at that. Getting a full frontal blast of that breath. Oof, Jesus, I can only imagine. Anyway, he's dispatched. He shall never breathe on another lady again. Uh, now, what do we have down here? Oh, we can go through here. Oh. Okay. That sounds ominous. I guess we'll take the vinyl record for now. It's locked, but I can't see a keyhole anywhere. Okay. So maybe we have to sort that out somewhere else. You know, this place is very reminiscent of RE4. This heavy door is locked good. I'm going to need a key. And we have a save room. We like save rooms. Doesn't appear that there's actually anything here that we can do, though. Excerpt from the Journal of Dr. Arnold Howard. July 20th, 1981. So far, I have discovered some very strange things about the group. I have learned more about the master, including the fact that he is very, very old. Beyond hundreds of years, apparently. They say he's still alive, living on the compound. They will not let me see him since I am not yet an initiate. I am dubious of their claims, to say the least, but I have heard their chants and I uh, and can tell their tongue they use is quite ancient. The one I have never heard before in all my anthro anthropological research, that's a word, studying exiled cultures. Along with this, I have discovered certain symbols engraved on some of the ceremonial bowls and cups they use. I would need an archaeologist to confirm my suspicions. But dare I say the symbols are that of the uh, Danube script. Using the Neolithic era of Vinsa, Vinsa culture? Surely these must be replicas. Because otherwise... <gasps> I guess, I guess they're replicas. Sure, sure. Because you know, otherwise. Some more shotgun. Sh oh, we didn't pick up those other shotguns. These bones appear very fresh. That can't be right. Must have something to do with that brew I keep reading the cultists talk about. Pretty sure we only read about the brew once, actually. But hey, hey. We shall certainly have some hanger bullets. Someone has shut this drawer. It looks old and dry. Okay. An old and dry rope. Well, in the previous episode, we found some burning oil. Pretty sure it's lighter fluid, but I guess you could call lighter fluid burning oil, I guess. I mean, it is technically correct. Okay. The fountain is not working. Bastards. This is why everyone's so cranky. There's nothing to drink around here apart from that strange moldy brew that appears to be turning everybody into zombies. So I guess we have to go back to the uh, portal of Plutus, but um, at least takes us to the uh, box of Plutus anyway. But let's see. Before we do that, is there another portal around here? We've still got item space. Uh, we've got loads of zombies. Almost too many zombies, if I'm being honest. Let's try and dispense these guys up here. Don't want to alert the others if we can help it. Alright, come on, my friend. Take your medicine. 
This guy has a resilient skull. There we go, he's gone. And this guy's just making too much noise. Now, I don't know if the zombies are drawn to noise. They don't actually appear to be. But that's fine. Damn, we are running out of bullets, man. No, that did not alert the locals. Evening, gentlemen. I can release you of your torment. Free of charge. However, if one of you would like to cross my palm with bullets, I would appreciate it muchly. Come on. Oh, your arm came off. Oh, both your arms came off. It's very unfortunate, my friend. Happens to the best of us. Please don't puke in my mouth. Keep your mouth closed, Alicia. It will only get worse. Otherwise. Oh, God. We've got a few zombies. My word. They really are coming out of the woodwork, aren't they? You know? Oh, it's really hard to avoid that puke attack on such narrow steps. But I think... Well, we didn't actually lose that much health, to be honest. Oh, God. Down, boy. Jeez. Oof. I'd hate to be aiming at those dogs with a controller. I'm just saying. All right. So. Oh. Well, that looks fun. So through there we have some stones. We should, oh yeah, we've got the map. Right. Okay. I mean, we're definitely on some sort of island by the look of things. At least we're by the coast. I can't remember if we've ascertained we're on an island yet. Now, this is a nice little area. We like this area for reasons we are going to discover very soon. Uh, I mean, this guy doesn't care too much. Not sure. If, I don't think we're killing him. Right, all right. Well, let's... What about you? Ah, we can kill him. Come on, dude. Let's at least try and thin the herd. And please, no biting. None of that. I don't know what you've heard about Western women, but no thank you. Oh. There's a few of these guys here, isn't there? Oh. Okay, that was just the door flickering. I thought there was something actually going on there. Some delicious looking items there. But no. Come on, friend. There we go. Oh, he didn't have much in him at all, did he? And I see a shotgun. This is great news. And we are going to be taking full advantage of that in a second. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that's that's fine. That's fine. All right. So, let me guess. As soon as we grab the shotgun, all these zombies are going to come to life. Seems reasonable to suspect such a thing. Um, where? Oh. Could probably... There's a lot of distance there, actually. Okay, we have a plan. Is it a good plan? I don't know, but my cat is running in front of my desk. We'll take the shotgun. How many are waking up? By God, there's a few of them. Well, three. Really? Let's see if we can't just thin the herd out a little bit. Leo, what are you doing, buddy? You know, I think that was, yeah, that was worth it, I guess. Okay, let's have a little look up here. We do have a lot of items now. Ooh. Ah. That, I dare say, would actually be quite useful. 
Uh, how many shells does this shotgun hold? Okay, holds five. I knew it was more than two. Um, right, let's... So we've got a handle there. We've got some bandages. We are going to have to... We can't leave anything here, really? Oh, that's annoying. Alright, well, let's go... There's a trap door here. Let's see if we can't have a look down there as well. I guess we will go down. Ooh. Hello. Hello right there, friend. You know, I'm not going to risk it. We have... Ooh, good. We have plenty of bullets. Right, well... Oh, what have you got? You have something. The door is locked. It appears to be three strange symbols. Alright. Well, let's drop you. Let's... Grab that. Empty antique paper. Okay. Well, I mean, we can certainly use some empty antique paper, I guess. I don't know where we're going to use such paper, but I'm sure we shall find out. Now, let us... I think we've basically explored everywhere here. Did we, we didn't try that door, but it seems pretty obvious it's not going to... Yeah, strange shape on the door. Okay, fine. Let's drop you. Let's drop you because there was two items up above. Let's go grab those, and we are going to have to make a trip to the item box to jiggle some things around. Unfortunately, grab you. Grab you. So that's just a straight-up door handle. We know we can use the burning oil, which seems to be what we're going to have to do next. So let's go and do just that, shall we? We can't go through there yet. Did we walk all the way to the end of this little pier thing? Well, that's almost pretty. Looks all right, actually. Where the hell am I? Is this an island? Oh, well, there we go. Ah, uh, maybe. I mean, we were brought here by boat, if we remember back to the introduction, so seems like a reasonable thing to deduce, I guess so let's go back to the item box, we'll grab a disc we'll get everything that we do need um yeah, and then we'll go through that roped door but I think we'll go through that roped door in the next video Let's just go jiggle our junk around. Because we've got a lot of items we should be able to pull back into the box. A little bit concerned about how much hang and ammo I've used, but to be honest, like I don't know how... I don't know... I still haven't completed the game yet, so I don't know how precious the game is with the ammunition. Um, right, so... This is all the stuff that we can pull over. So let's put you in. You in. Because we know not where we use those. Let's pull over you. You. So we've. I think we found some more antique paper before. Do we want to keep the shotgun on us? This seems a little bit crazy. Because we are so low on just carry capacity, you really only have space for two weapons, realistically. Even that's a push if you're going to take extra ammunition with you. And considering you don't know when you're going to be able to uh, resupply ammo, ugh. I really wish we could sort this as well. This is very messy. Uh, we'll take a record. Right. Oh. 
Oh shit, see what I mean? Yeah, we'll, we'll drop the shotgun for now because we're going to need the lighter. And we're going to need the burning oil. So, let's go and dispense with that door. Although, hmm, we are on, we're on 25 minutes, so let's go save it. We do have um, another save disc. Or save record, I suppose you could call it, which is technically correct. The best kind of correct. All right. I can hear the dogs again. That is kind of um, not obnoxious. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, but it, yeah, just to hear those dogs all the time. Even though there's like obviously nothing close to us. And I don't mean the howling. The howling's fine because that's obvious background noise. It's... What is... There's also... That creaky, squeaky... Sound. But I'm not sure what that is. Right, if this isn't actually what we're supposed to do. <laughs> there we go. Now, before we spark that up, because I haven't actually played any further than this, I'm going to go save the game. And then, my friends, I will meet you back here in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, Till next time.